Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand moderation analysis for categorical variable in SPSS MS. A moderating variable is a variable that influences the strength or direction of the relationship between two other variables. It helps to determine under what conditions the relationship between the two variables is stronger or weaker. If the moderator is categorical, that is non-metric, let's say male-female, urban-rural, then the objective of this study is to test the significant difference in the estimates of the two groups. If the moderator is continuous, then the objective of this study is to test the significant effect of interaction term on the dependent variable. Let us take a very small example here. Autonomy affects the job satisfaction. But is this, uh, is this effect same in male and female? That we want to check. So we will... Uh, we will be doing multi-group analysis where the path will be checked individually. That is autonomy affecting job satisfaction for male and autonomy affecting job satisfaction for female. So this uh, procedure is carried out when the moderator is a categorical. In case of continuous, autonomy affecting job satisfaction and masculinity is the moderator. So we will calculate the interaction term that is aut autonomy into masculinity and this procedure is carried out when your moderator is continuous. Now let's see how we can do moderation analysis for categorical variable in SPSS MS. So for this we'll go in MS. Now it is always advisable to work on imputed score when we when uh, when you do the multi-group analysis. The reason is to we want to reduce the complexity of the model. How to calculate the imputed score for the construct or in other words, we can say that how to calculate the latent variable scores for each construct I already discussed in my previous video, kindly refer to it. So, I will import the data file which is underscore C which is the imputed data file. Now, let's activate this icon which gives me the list of all the variables which are there in my data set. When I will go at the fag end, which, which, uh, which is having the imputed scores. Now, let us pick up the organizational commitment from here. One, environmental perception from here. Two, job satisfaction. Three, co-workers, behavior of co-workers. Four, are they all affecting staying intention? So staying intention of an employee. Five. Now I'll connect this. So I'll press the down arrow. So it will come into the edit mode. One, two, three, four. Now these are all the exogenous terms and this is endogenous terms as the arrows are moving inside. Let me pick up the magic wand to make the diagram clean. And I will place one error term on it. I will go in the plugins, name unobserved variable. Now I can run the model. Output, standardized estimates, squared multiple correlation. And calculate the estimates. It will give me a warning that the covariance, the exogenous terms are not covariant. No need to worry. Proceed with the analysis. It will ask me where you want to save this. So I'll say it is a moderator for the categorical variable. Or rather it is an analysis where the moderator is a categorical variable. Now I'll go in view text and I'll go in the estimates. And you can see I am having a regression analysis. Organizational commitment affecting the staying intention. Environmental perception, is it affecting staying intention or not? This we can assess from the p-value. But in this video, our objective is that this path, we want to disintegrate between male and female. We want to see that is this path significantly different in male employees and female employees. So we want to create the groups. Basically, we want to study the heterogeneity in the model. How we can do it? So, we will again go back in the canvas. 
I'll click on analyze, manage groups. There are two ways in which I can uh, group the model. This is first or I can simply click here. So both the methods will give me the same procedure. So group number one, let's say the group number one is male. Press new and give the group, no, group number two as female. Now simply close it. So we are having male and female. But this is not the end of the procedure. You will have to divide the data set into two parts. So again, I will go back in the select data file. Now, male, we are having the total, the total observations are 400, uh, 400. We want to split these observations into male and female. How can I do it? I will go in the grouping variable. I will activate C1 from here. Why C1? Because C1, I know it is a gender in my data set. Click OK. Group value. I have given the code in my SPSS data file. 1 as male and 0 as female. So click on 1. Click OK. Now what about this part? So click on it. So there is no data file at present available for female. So again, I will have to attach the data file. So I'll attach the same data file, hb18 underscore sam1 underscore c, open. Make sure both the files are same. But still, the grouping value is not activated and therefore it is showing the 400 observations, a total data set. See, in the previous, in the in case of male, out of 400, 200 has been, 200 males have been identified. But female, still, we have to uh, identify it. So I'll go in the grouping variable. Again, I will activate C1, which is the variable designated as gender. Click OK. What next? We'll click on group value and activate 0 from here. Click OK. Now you can see that 200 females and 200 males. Now click OK. Now when you will run the analysis, again, the same warning. No need to worry. Proceed with the analysis. Go in view text. And when you will click on estimates, you can see here that you got the additional option. You want to see this model for male. Just see the numbers here, male or female. The numbers are changing. The same thing happens on the canvas also. I'll press the up arrow. I'm having the unstandardized estimates. Now, when I'll press male, and when well, I'll press female, it means that in case of organizational commitment, this loading, in case of uh, in case of male, organizational commitment affecting a staying intention is by 0.21. But in case of female, it is 0.15. Now, let's go back into the output. Male and female both have got the different uh, estimates. Now we want to check that is this difference so significant in male or female or not. So for this, I'll be using uh, the Excel sheet which is provided by the Professor James Gaskin. You go on this website, StatWiki, Gaskin Nation, and here you click on Excel, Excel Stat Tools. Simply click it and uh, the file will be downloaded. Now activate this file. And in this, we are having the option of group differences. So what you will do, you will go into the output file and activate the scalars, regression weights and male. Now, copy this by right clicking on it. Right click, copy and paste regression weights table in A2. Wherever you are having yellow, paste it. Control V. So this is for male. Again, go back in the output and this time click on female. Click on it. Right click, copy. Now you go into the 
second group pays the regression weights control v now it also demands one more thing and that is a critical ratio it demands a critical ratio but we have not calculated the critical ratio you will not find critical ratio anywhere can you see anywhere so again i will have to go back into the canvas and activate the analysis property and here it is critical ratio for differences we want to check that is there any significant difference in these two group or not so critical ratio for differences activate it now run it proceed with the analysis go in view text go in estimates uh, let me check So your critical ratios will be here, pairwise parameter comparison. Just click on it. Yes, it is critical ratios for differences between the parameters. Now click on it, right click on it, copy and again paste it here, control V. Now simply you will have to press this uh, blue button. So it will start calculating. Just wait for a minute and it has given me the answer so the output is ready organizational commitment affecting the staying intention the male unstandardized estimate is 0.214 and the female unstandardized estimate is 0.147 Environmental perception affecting staying intention, it is 0 0.308 and the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and for female it is 0 0.190. Now wherever this z-score is above 1.96, right? It means that wherever you can see this asterisks are there, it means that there is a significant difference between the unstandardized estimate of male and female this you can further confirm by let's say let's talk about the third one this value is less than 1.96 and as it is less than uh, these two are very nearer to each other here also the same case but wherever the values are more it clearly indicates that that the p value is less than 0 0.05 two things are there Either the value, uh, the Z score should be one more than 1.96 or the P value should be less than 0 0.05. So whenever the stars are there, it is indicated here that this uh, particular path is significantly different in male and female. So you will have to report this path separately for male and female. Now your model uh, say for example, you have created a model for urban customers and the rural customers. If these estimates are different, you will have to report it. Uh, in a uh, you will have to report the different model for an urban customer and the rural customers. So this was all about moderator analysis for categorical variable in SPSS MS. For more videos on SPSS MS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on SPSS MS.